everybody. I'm Erica Simon. The sheriff says a man was found shot and left in the middle of the road. He likely will not survive his injuries. Deputies responded to Fry Road at Plantation Grove Trail just after midnight. A Kingwood man with intellectual disabilities, or rather we'll get to that story in just a minute, but first let's get to ABC 13 reporter Catherine Marchand with the latest details of the shooting. The man was found in the road behind me. He had a gunshot wound to the head. Investigators, though, they don't know if this is where he was shot. There was another shooting in the area at the same time, not too far from here. The Harris County Sheriff's Office is trying to figure out if it could be related and if the victim was possibly dumped here. He is not expected to survive. That is according to the sheriff. But he was taken to Memorial Herman Hospital. There's no motive or suspect information right now. If you know anything, that could help investigators solve this case, call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. In Northwest Harris County, Captain Marchand, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. I'm Jeff Ealing outside of Bruce Elementary School on the east side of downtown Houston, where community developers, community planners are hoping to put the brakes on a planned I-45 expansion project. Planners say that the project that would merge I-45 and 59 on the east side of downtown will speed up the morning commute by 24 miles an hour and actually cut down traffic fatalities by 30 percent. But those opposed to the project say it comes at a high cost for those living in the path of the construction project. Community advocates want to delay the vote on funding so TxDOT, TxDOT can finish studies that are looking at how this project will impact low-income housing, schools, daycares, and even historical sites. The project would ultimately cost $7 billion and has been called a boondoggle by the Public Interest Research Group. The groups opposing the project plan to meet here at 1030 this morning to talk about putting a delay and securing the vote for the first $100 million for this project. That vote's supposed to happen on Friday. Jeff Elin, 13. How would it New video to show you this morning of two men robbing a nail salon off the North Freeway, pointing their guns at customers and employees. The two men had their faces covered when they rushed into the North Line Nails and Spa. That's off of 45 near East Cross Timbers. This happened last month. You can see one of them grab a purse and shove some cash inside it. The two men took off in a white Chevy Silverado pickup. If you recognize them, call Crime Stoppers. Houston police are calling for a very sad situation. A woman died in a crash and now investigators are trying to figure out why. Officers were working a different crash on Post Oak in Southwest Houston about 8.30 last night. That's when they say the woman drove by erratically, almost hitting them. They tried to catch up to her, but police say she crashed at McHard and FM 2234. Her vehicle rolled at least once, and officers found a child car seat in the back. We had to confirm that there was no one else in the vehicle. Uh, because uh, we did have a child seat in the car and just wanted to make sure that uh, we were you know, very worried about that, very concerned. Officers ID'd the woman killed, spoke with the family, and learned that the infant was safe. The family of Kima's late police chief is now suing a shipping company for wrongful death. Chris Reed was knocked off his fishing boat near the Texas City Dyke and died last month. His wife now claims a big tanker hit or created a huge wake and they hit that wave. The Maersk Line Limited Container Ship, she says, created the wave. She says she tried to throw her husband a rope and then he was hit by a second wave off the ship. The line has not yet commented on that lawsuit. Well, we're waiting to hear funeral arrangements for Chris Kraft, NASA's first flight director who passed away just two days after the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Kraft was among that group of pioneers who helped get the U.S. space program off the ground. He's best known for creating the Mission Control Room. But he also worked on the earliest U.S. space flights, moon missions, shuttle space programs, and he retired from NASA in 1982. The agency's administrator tweeted yesterday, the U.S. lost a national treasure. Chris Kraft was 95. Houston ISD.